Hello, and welcome back to the stream. Last stream, we went around collecting a bunch of random ingredients for a feast. I believe we've gotten an egg, right? We got, we got, well, no, we got a frog leg. We got an egg. We got a worm. And now, oh, and we also got cheese. And now we need to get wine to go with the cheese. Yay. That's it. That's what we're doing. And then after that, we will figure out the the secret to defeat Titan. Oh, joy. I wonder what the secret could be. Let's find out. Oh, whoops. Hang on. Here we go. So yes, Jumani Lomani. We must help you, my friend. How you doing? Sweet sweat, grime, and blood. Ah, you reek of blood. An adventure, unless I am mistaken. What brings you to Wineport? This letter, apparative order slip, an order made out to Wineport Vintner Shimani Lomani. Here you go, an order. Let me guess, a request for the finest vit vintage I can muster. Sniff, sniff. The paper smells of loam and perfume. Close to the soul. And this is also the cough, unmistakable odor of goblin cheese. Yes, Master Gigi Ruju would not settle for anything less than the best. Durstwitz and his crew must be quite busy preparing an exotic feast, hence his decision to rely on an adventurer. Ah, uh, but perhaps you are confused. This display of deduction was not intended to impress you. When one loses his vision, he is forced to compensate in other ways, but you've no interest in my affairs. You wish only to discuss the wine, I suspect. He is blind! An, an offer you can... An offer you can refuse, Shimani Lomani would like to discuss wine with you. Life can be so delightfully unpredictable. I always had a passion for wine, but it wasn't until I was forced to retire that I could pursue it as more than a mere hobby. It wouldn't have been possible if not for the savings I am mastering my time as a mercenary, of course. Say what you will about the nature of that work. None can deny that it pays well. Ah, but you grow impatient, and why Sket must have his wine. Herein lies the problem. Nothing in my possession is of sufficient quality for this occasion. The best vintages in town are hoarded by Berglaint, who owns and operates the largest winery in Vilbrand. For those of you who don't know, Vilbrand is what Lanosk is actually called. Somehow, I doubt he will be receptive to your quest, but given these circumstances, we must needs beg his assistance. That or Vilbrand is the entire island. And Lanoska is just the is just is just the area of Vilbrun ruled by the philocracy. Uh somehow I doubt he will be receptive to your request, but given these circumstances, we must needs beg his assistance. Okay. Hey. Aileen leaves of Wineport. Looking for work to fund our wine habit, are we? I don't drink wine. The adventure is good has assigned me to Wineport so that I might distribute guild leaves to the willing and able. Depending on what skills you possess, I may have suitable work for you. Beast calling, crafting, gathering, and so forth. That said, my offer is contingent upon you first demonstrating your capacity to complete a contract. The Lenoskin wilderness is fraught with peril, so it behooves me to test your ability to survive it to survive in it. Okay, appetite for abduction. Gooboos. Gotta kill some gooboos. Well, these gooboos are wont to devour anything and everything, they have a fondness for pelican meat. Your task will be to slay a pelican and use its remains to lure out the ravenous gooboos. The area in which the gooboos were last said is fairly large, so this may take a fair amount of time. Be warned, however, that other hungry creatures may be drawn to the meat. Oh. How inconvenient. Ah, oh, hey, what do you do? Ah, yes. Treasures and tribulations. Fancy yourself a romantic friend. Do you oft find yourself gazing off into the horizon, yearning to travel in search of storied relics I left behind, left behind by the heroes of yore? Yes, you say. Then do I ever have a proposal for you? I was accosted the other day by a slobbering drunkard. Bear with me now, I assure you this gets better, who most eagerly regale me, from what I could gather amidst slurred speech and copious amounts of spittle, that is, with the tale of a treasure map he had stumbled upon in his travels. I don't recall the particulars, I was emptying my innards with some foul swill at the time, you see, but it sounded rather convincing to my ale-adled brain. What I do remember is that the fellow mentioned striking out at first light for Raincatcher Gully to visit a minor friend. The prospect of hunting for hidden riches set your heart aflutter. I reckon you might still find him there. Ah, thank you, lady. 
A merchant mender. Her husband had left. I meant no harm, sir. Oh, my goodness, Guy Burglet. What rank amateur bottled the swine? The impurities have rendered it nigh undrinkable. This missile's too good for the men responsible. You should be made to drink every drop of this polluted swill. What is it? I'm in the middle of an important discussion. I do not care for interruptions. Hmm? Then you fight in Vintner, bid you speak with me. Ah! Neither you nor your friend has the palate to appreciate the subtle qualities of my private stock. I would sooner serve you goo-boo urine than see you my worst vintage. Be gone from my sight! Oh. That's mean. That's, that's, that's rude. Wrapped around your little finger, Edgar requires your assistance with a raptor predicament. Hello, adventurer. Hear me, or Master Bergland will know the reason why. I mean that he simply... I mean that he'll simply tell you himself if you refuse to hear it from me. You've no doubt seen those ghastly grass raptors walking about outside our gates. Well, they've developed a taste for the vines we use to grow our brand wine cherries. And we can't abide that. You must kill the horrible creatures. Yeah, sure. Shamani, he told us to go kick rocks. I take it he said no. Really, in those words? Hmm, well, I cannot say that I am surprised. Well, there's no denying his passion and skill, the wine baron of Limsa Lemons was not a man known for his tact. Very well, you shall have to take an alternative approach. Yay! Shimani Lomani, it won't work. Shimani Lomani has another bright idea. Excuse me, there is a chance, however small, that another resident of Wineport can furnish us with a suitable wine. In fact, had you come several years ago, I guarantee this would not be a problem. Alas, the quality of our product has declined significantly in recent years. The only breeds cultivated these days are common lowland vines, which isn't to say that their grapes are of poor quality, only that we have known better. Long ago, the Vignorans of Wineport crossbred several species and produced a grape-bearing vine of a grape-bearing vine of never before seen quality. Bacchus grapes were once the pride of this town, as they were used to produce vintages which surpassed all others. This includes the most aromatic, the most complex, the most flavorful of all wines. Aye, the legendary Bacchus wines were born right here in Wineport. Ahem, pardon my enthusiasm. You see, I once had the privilege to sample that particular wine. It was an otherworldly experience. In that moment, I felt as though I had tasted the nectar of the gods themselves. I transcended my mortal flesh and was one with all creation. Ah, uh hot -huh, dude, it's just wine. Sigh, but as it is all too often said, the calamity changed that. The Bacchus vineyards were completely destroyed, along with much of the existing stock of Bacchus wine. The little remains is closely guarded by its owners, for it can no longer be made. If we cannot convince Berglund to part with his wines, our next best option, as ridiculous as it sounds, is to find someone who has a bottle of Bacchus wine, and to offer them every gill we can spare. I've heard rumors that one of the Vignorans tending the vineyards might have once owned a bottle. Perhaps you could start by speaking with them, yeah, perhaps. I got quests I need to do. Starting with this, seeing that I can take out two birds with one stone. Her eating pelican cheese. It's a man eater. Slide cast away. My goodness, you are taking forever to kill. Thank you very much. You need to get out of here, too. And done. Okay, let's see if this area will work. You sense that the insatiable Gubu may be lurking nearby. Ah, nearby, you say. This one! Leap truck is drawn from hiding by the haunch of pelican meat. A hey, insatiable Gubu. You're huge, friend! Eh. Yeah. And just slide cast, slide cast and rocks. That's all you need to do. I 
I cannot wait until the power of the stars is at my fingertips. Oops. A prime location. We're looking meat. Are you over here, friend? Hey, you are. Hang on. I will be right back because there's a treasure chest right there. Ethereal Garnet Choker. Nice. Oh, dang it. I ran too far away. Didn't do it. Done. Second tech did it though. A. Yes. I did the thing, lady. Oh, you actually completed the trial. I suppose you'll be wanting this then. Yay. You've proven yourself competent, which is well. If you desire additional gillies, I will not deny you. You can drink whilst you work for all I care. As long as the client is satisfied, so am I. Yay. Fantastic. Now to go get that, uh, unlock the treasure maps. Yay, treasure. I actually have no idea if the treasures are worthwhile. I just know it's a thing you can unlock. I hope they're worthwhile. Diligent digger. In treasures. Ah, another Gilchrist Greenhorn reeled in by Eildwine's Tall Tales, eh? Yes, Eildwine. That's the daughter and fool's name. Though, mind ye, I've not known him to limit his consumption to any one type of brew. I saw him just the other day, I did, clutching some tattered, pissed yellow parchment like it was made of solid mithril. This is my ticket of fortune, he blabbered. Not half so eloquently, mind ye, before stumbling out the tavern doors and promptly falling flat on his mug like as not. I see the map myself, you say? Did I ever? Why, the fool shoved it in my face so many times I swear the mold left the page to take up residence in me nostrils. It was a mess of blue and brown splotches that Yildwin swore was Camp Bronze Lake, with a big red X to the southeast. You're not thinking of going there, are ye? Take my word, you'll find naught but a sorry drunkard and his sack of broken dreams. Yeah, but I'll be able to find treasure maps. I like treasure. Who doesn't like treasure? I do. I also like growing my pebble collection. Look at these pebbles. I need more pebbles. I need to get all of these pebbles. 20 pebbles. That's a lot of pebbles. Now, you may be saying, 20 pebbles is not a lot of pebbles. I mean, yeah, I know, but it, it could make, like, a decent pile. I... Yeah. Gotta kill two more raptors. Oh no, that was the third raptor. I still need to kill this raptor. Aha! Yeah. Hey, there we go. And that quest is complete. Now I have to just go to Northern Lanoska. At least I think this is Northern. No, this is Upper Lanoska. And then uh, after that is Outer Lanoska. Yeah. And there's a giant beard. Puggle. Oh, there's boss music. Legends say... It says, deep beneath the waters of Bronze Lake draws a terrible creature with jaws so powerful they can tear a man in two with a single bite. Common sense would suggest, would suggest that Owens is merely a tale of to frighten babes. 
but the local small folk would have us believe otherwise. It's always the small folk that are going on about this. Who, who goes there? Wait, don't tell me. You've come to help old Eeld wine dig for buried treasures. I have. Well, I'll have you know I'm fair and just fine by myself. Just look at that heck beauty over there. Not that I can blame you for being jealous, hold me vast riches. Lucky for you, I'm feeling heck generous today. So here's the deal. I'll give you the honor of opening my latest discovery. That's right. For one precious moment, you can walk in the shoes of Aldwin, treasure hunter, hick extraordinaire. Go on now, the cash you won't hick fight or not in. As what you think. Where is it? I don't see it. Uh, open the casket and deal with any disturbances. Where's the casket? Is it in my inventory? Da, 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 da. I don't. Huh. Where it? There it is. Shabby casket. Got it. Do 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 do. do. Uh, you open the lock of uh, the treasure coffer. It traps springs, releasing a powerful musk into the air, get, making a bunch of animals want to kill me. Fantastic. Territorial raptors. Bird, help me. Thanks, bird. Attack. Good job, bird. You helped this stuff go real quick, like... Whoa, territorial pelicans! Ooh. I keep going into the fate music, so the battle music keeps wanting to get swapped over to the boss music. Oh no, beard. You're paralyzed. Open the casket. Let's see what's in here. I like like a chunk of iron. Like five gill. Gonna find out. <laughs> Retrieve a tattered corn purse and a broken bottle from the casket. Nice. Here you go, yield wine. Seven hells, where did those hick nasty buggers come from? Why, well, if I had me trishty pickaxe with me, I'd have split their skulls clean in. Hick two. Where in the world did those things go? Any hick way. Here you go, a tired corn purse, housing but a pittance of coins. This threadbare trifle represents the contents of Ildorn's treasure discovery in full. Tire bottle, a broken bottle recovered from the opened treasure coffer. A viscous substance gives off a sickeningly sweet odor. Ah, uh, it was booby-trapped. Watch this. Local Edwin had the finest of yours your hash to offer. From the drowning wench to Buscaroon Strucers. It ain't seen nothing like a great beer gosh gut. It's a trap, that's what it was. Opening the casket shattered this here bottle. And this foul slop poured out during them nasty buggers with its thick stink. I told you to be more careful. Now hand over the hick loot. You may have opened the casket, but twas old Eildwin what did the dirty work. Wait, that's it. He gave me everything. Why, I got more last time I showed me undergarments for grog money. You don't hide nothing for me, are ye? No, I am not. Well, it looks like we've got no choice. We've got to go out and search for bigger and hick better treasures. Not the same treasures, of course. I can't hold ye hand forever. So sit back and let old yield one impart to ye a proper trove of knowledge on treasure hunterin'. Firstly, you find yourself a map. Once ye have your map, the, then ye decipher it. That means you look at it nice and good like then when ye figured out where your treasure's hiding, you go there and you dig it up. Sounds simple enough, you say. Ah! I might look, uh, I might make it look easy, but I can assure you it ain't. I treasure hunter and demand sharp eyes and a sharper hick mind, but don't be discouraged. Hone your skills like old Eildwin and the treasures are sure to follow. Now, if you'll excuse me, my throat's feeling dry. Mine too, guy. I'm gonna have some water.
This won't even buy me a swig of the wench's jeepish grog. What's a man to do to drown his sorrows? Goodbye. Maybe stop spending your money on booze. Yes, thank you very much, game. I know how to decipher treasure maps. I've already done this before, you see. Several times. Speak with the Vignorans report to Edgar. That's right, I did the thing. That's a dragoon. I'm a dragoon too. Well, not currently. I'm right now a white mage, but I, I can be a dragoon. Hey. <laughs> I joined! I've joined the fight! Let's see. <sighs> Get this quest turned in, except the other quest to see what that one has me doing. Edgar? Ah, the conquering hero returns, and so quickly, too. You're as strong as you are kind, and wonderfully trim of waist. I, may, I shall make sure to keep you in mind should any future tramples creep up. Toad skin breeches. Yeah, sure, I'll take those. Edgar? Mona Lisa smile. Edgar seems to be in a state of some excitement this fine day. The etiquettes. The etiquettes. Pardon me, wine labels to laymen such as yourself. Used by our winery, always bear the noble countenance of Master Beerglint himself. As such, our esteemed Vintian has invited a famed Uldan miniaturist. Oh, very well known. Oh, very well known. Probably the most famous miniaturist in all the land. To fashion a label truly worthy of a classic vintage. He is due to arrive today. I beg you, when you go down to the rain catcher gully docks to meet him, I fear he will be quite mobbed by admirers and not have him molested. At least until the portrait is done. Put a cork in it. Steel scale greaves. Steel plated jackboots. Looks like I'm gonna go with the scale grease. Briar Glint, the master vintner of Wineport, is having difficulty acquiring good cork. You call this cork? Pa! This sad, squelchy thing isn't fit to kiss my back end, let alone my fine whites and reds. I'd say you should try again, except that I wouldn't trust you with the worst of vintages now. You're dead to me! You! Adventurer! I've had it. I've had it trying to get quality from my own lot. Show this oaf how it's done and bring me the materials you find off cork bulbs. Harvesting five of them should do. Time flies and uncorked wine sours. Go! Go! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Behind the place. Hey, buddy. You got any wine I can use? Jung Bar. What? What? Do I have Bacchus wine? I wish. I never had the chance to try it myself. Sorry, friend, but you're a few years too late. Aw. Well, let's try this guy. Do you have any wine? Durim Falurim. Any wine for me? Bacchus wine? Bah, don't remind me. You used to have a cellar filled with this stuff. Or I could keep the wine safe from the thieves and the elements. Never count on a bloody primal blowing up my god's damned house. And the wine, too! <laughs> Sorry, my man. No wine to be found. No luck. Hmm? Most regrettable, but we had to try. Ah, but Bacchus wine would have been perfect for the occasion. Oh well, though I must confess my certitude could be due in part to my personal history with the beverage. It is, after all, the very reason I decided to become a vintner. After Titan blinded me in our battle beneath Okamura, I fell into a deep depression. It was until I tasted Bacchus wine for the first time that I realized there was still so much I could experience, even in my condition. It helped me to find a new direction in life. Sigh. It breaks my heart to think that wondrous ambrosia which once filled me with hope may be forever lost to us. Give me, uh, give me the mind potion, for I am a healer. Give a man a drink, Shimani Lumani appears to be in deep thought. I must say, this talk of Bacchus wine has made me rather nostalgic. Indeed, there is much I miss about my life with the company of heroes. After everything the captain has done for me, I could not bear to disappoint him. I have no fear, I swear that I shall find a suitable wine for the banquet. But I may need some time to think of a solution. In the meantime, there is a favor I would ask of you. 
Two years ago, in the deepest depths of my despair, I stumbled across Vilbrand as a vagabond drunk. I suspect I was looking for a place to die, because I, very ne because I very nearly found one not far from here. It was there that a man named Dress took me in and nursed me back to health. And it was he who gave me my first taste of Bacchus wine, which helped me to find my new calling. If I'm still a novice in the arts of winemaking, I would like him to know that I am pursuing my dream. This wine is my own original creation, and I would be most grateful if you delivered it to him in my stead. Dress sometimes works at the rain catcher gully dock, so perhaps Wrist Guilt can tell you where to find him. Okay, I have to go there anyway. Whee! Experience and money. I don't want the brand new ring. Get that out of here. <laughs> I'll need my spell speed blunt resistance. That was cool, I guess. Cool Don Artist. Yes, I'm the Mentress. Pardon me if I do not give you my name. I travel incognito, such as my fame. Ah, Master Berglint awaits. I will fly to him forthwith. We have much to discuss, the Master and I. Our artistic differences are many and sundry, yet, yet I cannot resist returning for another etiquette. He is a model in a thousand, that one. Ah, he's... <laughs> Let's see. Ah, you. Yes, you. Ritzgilt. Dressed? Oh, you mean the hermit. I toss him a few gil when we need an extra pair of hands. He doesn't talk about himself, and I sure as hells don't ask. When a man's got a face with scars like that, you best leave well enough alone, I say. If you've a mind to find him, though, then head southwest to the severed string. Okay. Up and the cork bulbs. That's right. And I gotta get rid of the cork bulbs. Well, that's a one. That's a two. That's the three. Come on, two more. Two more and I can continue with the story mission. Done. Gigantos! Oh, well, I, I, they're part of my hunting log. You should always stay up on your hunting log. I got them all, really? <laughs> Indworm, Central Shroud, Upper Lanaska, Central Shroud, Eastern Lanaska, Perthus, North Shroud, Perthus, Perthus. Oh. Well then. Boo boos! And weird flying flowers! Don't question it. Very tropical. I don't like it. I want to go to Kurthus. I want to. I want to be with the snow. <laughs> uh, I like snow. Not this. This is grody. There's bugs everywhere. Driss. What? What do you want? Here, have some Lomani Rizzo. Shumani Lomani's first attempt at winemaking. At least the name sounds legitimate. <laughs> Oh, fine. I... I didn't ask for this. Who sent you? I... I... Grown. Eh. That weight dress is suffering from, from extreme duress. Can't... Can't sleep. They won't let me sleep. The midges! The buzzing! It keeps me awake! I'm not... I... 
I never wanted to hurt anyone. I won't fight. I don't want to fight. Please make the buzzing stop. Make the midges go away. You see, this is why I don't like tropical areas because there's bugs and the annoying kind of bugs. Not like your your butterflies and, and your bumblebees. Nah, mosquitoes and gnats and all other types of biting nasties. That's why I like the winter because they all die during the winter. You don't have to worry about them during the winter. They go away. And if I had my way, they'd stay dead. Oh my goodness. Ooh, Jolly Green, not to be fooled by his jovial laugh, for Jolly Green is aught but joyful. The overgrown Gubu will snatch up and swallow everything within his grasp, and this includes adventurers. Now is the time to turn his frown upside down. Aha! You have met your match today, for I am a healer. My slide casting ways will absolutely destroy you, good sir. What's this damage? I have regen. You cannot hope to defeat me. Ah Any damage you do is just but paper cuts against my water healing. Oh ho! Eh, run away. <laughs> oh, maybe I keep my... Ah, nah, keep, keep my dot on him. That might be a good idea. Just a little bit. Lots of damage from that. Keep the regen on. Slowly pelt him with rocks until he dies. Joy. <laughs> Do do do. Ah, my regen drop. Get the regen up. Thank you, bird, for the stun. And down he goes. Fantastic. I win! Only took two minutes. <laughs> but that is the power of a healer. You, you can't really die as a healer unless you let yourself die because you can just heal yourself. <laughs> Every battle becomes a battle of attrition. That's why my bird does a lot of damage. <laughs> it's very helpful. Makes me feel like a damage dealer, even though I am nowhere near such a level. We. I have done the thing, good sir. Dressed. And it's not so loud anymore. Did did you do that? Thank you. You you helped me. Even after what my comrades and I did to your country. We were on a reconnaissance mission when the maelstrom caught us by surprise. We tried to escape, but the others no one else survived. I didn't ask for this, damn it. I'm not even Garlean. They conquered my lands, just like they tried to conquer yours. I I don't want to die in some blasted jungle halfway around the world. I just... I just want to go home. Aw. That's sad. Battle Scars just appears to be in greater control of his faculties. I... I wish to thank Shimani for the wine. That... That was overly kind. Would you be willing to bear a gift back to him? Sure. Earlier today at Red Mantis Falls, I collected the sap from nearby palm trees. If... I've placed in coconut shells and stored for a few bells time. It, it makes for a fine wine, see? Should be ready by now. 
I left three shells out there. Please take them to Shimani for me. I'm I'm glad he's moved on with his life. I hope to one day do the same. Okay, dressed. Gotta go collect the wine, Mr. Gigantoad. How you doing? What's this? Cluster Mantis. Nah, I'm good. I'm just here for the wine. Palm wine. Ooh. Do, do, do. What even makes something wine? Is it just that it's an alcohol made by fruit? Is apple cider technically wine? Questions, questions. We're not gonna get the answer anytime soon. I'm just gonna teleport. It's just a hundred gil. No! Yes. There's a thing that I need to collect. Oh. Yeah, that real quick. Yep, I would like to extract that. But come on! Come on, piety! That is a savage might. <laughs> Dang it, Shamani Lomani. Does this even give me piety? It doesn't. <laughs> Has been some time. Brother, what news do you have of dress? Here, have some palm wine. Sap of a palm tree fermented inside an island coconut shell. Far more potent than wine made from grapes. Palm wi grapes. Palm wine, if brewed for too long, can cause loss of eyesight or even death. Oh, fantastic. Sniff, sniff. Ah, yes. I recall he did have some knowledge of winemaking, a simplistic but nevertheless effective method that utilizes the natural properties of palm sap. I shall have to enjoy this batch before it spoils. We are not so different dressed in I, two men who have long struggled not to let our scars define us. I worry that he has been done along with his, his thought for far too long. Aye, it is time I paid him a visit. Thank you for looking after him, brother. Bleat. Money, well, money. It was a very good year. Oh, do tell. How good was the year? By the gods, brother. Listen, I know you're eager to wash your hands of this wine business, but I've just discovered something extraordinary about dressed palm wine. He sealed each coconut shell with a leaf. A leaf which has a very distinct shape and unusual odor. I thought I was going mad at first, but now I'm certain these are the leaves of a Bacchus grapevine. Do you know what this means? Somewhere in Raincatcher Gully, the legendary vine still grows. If we could obtain a cutting, we could revive the Bacchus wine industry. You must know where Dress found these leaves. Here, take one of them back to him and see what he remembers. Okay. me okay so now we have to run all the way back joy hello gigantoad yes i'm level 41 you want nothing to do with me i'm too high a level i will destroy you Completely and utterly, or some some such. Yeah. Goo -boo. A cluster of red mantis eggs is hatched, and now the jungle is crawling with tiny red monsters. If not put down immediately, the jungle will soon be crawling with giant red monsters. Oh no. That's not good. <laughs> do do do. All right, guy, talk. Where'd you get the leaves? Oh, hello again. What is it? A Bacchus grape leaf, a broad green leaf from a thought to be extinct Bacchus grapevine. Where'd you get this leaf? It's it's just a leaf, isn't it? I only chose it because it was pretty. Didn't know it was rare. I found them near the juggernaut to the south, but I didn't see any grapevines. I saw fresh gooboo tracks, though. Maybe, maybe the leaves came from vines growing on the back of one such beast. If, if you go looking for it, please be careful. Some kubus are more territorial than others, and you may have to defend yourself. Okay. Seems simple enough. The gubu tries to kill me. I kill the gubu. 
Something I haven't done a million times already. The destination. Waiting. Oh no, ripples in the water catch your eye. Shesmu! Shesmu? Why are you a special goo goo? And you're not that special if you go down this easily. Oh my goodness. Fine. Search for the goo goo near the juggernaut. I did. And now I can complete the quest. I can complete both quests. Oh, yeah, I forgot to put a quest in. <laughs> Whoops. So many gooboos, so little time. Oh, I'm just gonna teleport again. Might as well. Why not? <laughs> I'm gonna go complete this quest first. Where is that cork I asked for? If you believe that Lordin will secure you a glass of something, you are very much mistaken. And possibly dead to me. Excuse me, impeccable cork. A light pours wood used in stealing wine bottles. Now this seems like some fine cork. Hmm, just the right amount of give. Some air comes through, but not the moisture. I should be so lucky as to have barrels full of this. If only my people were as efficient at finding it. Give me the steel scale, Greaves. Edgar, our expert in etiquette, has just, been, has just been by. Simply marvelous. I shall order the chilled white taken to his quarters at once. Ah, how sweet it is to have the mentress here again. It has been full five years, for the calamity stripped our vines, our first bottling in half a decade, and oh, to see the master's beautific visage captured again. Oh, you have another quest for me. An ice chocolate and a hint of toad. Sure. The vineyard wastes much water, washing sugar and chafe off the grapes. The spoilage and dregs from vats and barrels, all of it goes into the river. The richness of the soil chokes the river, and gigantoads feast on the scum. If raptors were horrible, these are thrice as bad. Slay them for us. For me, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jamani lo mani, I have come to complete the quest. What did Dress have to say, brother? Tell me everything. Hey, I have this Bacchus grapevine, a cutting from a Bacchus grapevine. A variety of sweet wine grape thought to long be extinct. Here you go. Here I have a twig. <gasps> Aha, I was right. This smell, this texture. I hold in my hands a Bacchus grapevine cutting. I'm sorry, what? Come now, enough of this nonsense. I've heard talk of your discovery, and I refuse to believe that a common adventurer and a novice vintner could... Twelve as my witness. It is a Bacchus grapevine. Wherever did you find this fantastic specimen? Yeah, have it. <laughs> what? You would offer this to me? But why? There is none better position to reconstruct the Bacchus vineyards than you, Master Bergland. You have the resources, the knowledge, and the passion to do so. It'd be selfish of me to keep this gutting. I never knew you cared so deeply about your craft. Thank you, good sir. I will not squander this gift. In just a few years' time, I swear that every tavern across the Azure will once again be clamoring for a cast of Wineport's legendary Bacchus wine. Thank you. Sir, you needn't. Sniff, sniff, wait. The shape of this bottle. The scent of this label. This couldn't possibly be. A 1547 Bacchus? Well, that's impossible! This vintage has been has not been seen since years before the Calamity! It was the crown jewel of my personal collection. For years, I debated opening it, wondering if today or tomorrow would be the ideal time. But now I realize that it was never meant for me. It should be savior, savored by the saviors of Winepoint, I say! He has made us an offer we cannot refuse. Master Gigi Ruju will find no finer wine. You're forever changed wine port, brother. Thank you for your kindness and your generosity. Ah, but do permit me to delay. Ah, but do not permit me to delay you any longer. Pray, deliver the wine to Captain Whiskit. Sure. 
Hmm, well, yes, I would very much like to drink it, but I am a patient man. I have faith that one day I shall have another opportunity to taste perfection. Hmm, yes, yes. Hmm, quite. Okay. Oh, that's right. Toads. Gotta go kill some toads. Uh, you miss one quest and it completely derails everything. Yo. What the hell? It's a sea monster. It's neat. I like sea monsters. <laughs> I wonder where you get that. If it's a storm out, I'm gonna be sad. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Thanks, bird, for just stunning him out of that. You're a lifesaver. One toad. Two toads. Hey. Get him, bird. Eh. Last one. Fantastic. Slay Gigantoads. I have slayed the Gigantoads. And I must complete this quest and then teleport back to Coasted as all. Quest complete. Oh, Master Berglund will be so pleased, but it grieves me that our wine has spoiled the river, so perhaps we can... I can construct some system to make our swill sweeter. Give me the cookie. Thank you, good sir. I shall be away. Follow the light. The warrior teacher guy's over here. In the hidden falls. Where he trains underneath a waterfall. Do -do. Hey, I got the wine! Your prolonged absence was beginning to concern me. So what of the wine I ask you to bring? Here, have some Bacchus wine. A vintage wine from the year 1547 of the 6th Astral Era. Is that... Seven hells of 1547 Bacchus! Even I know how rare that is! After a minute, I didn't think you had it in you. But congratulations, brother! Thanks to you, this will be the most luxurious feast coaster to Zola seen in years! So the lengths you went to, I hope our guests appreciate it. Speaking of which, your, associ your associate arrived a short while ago. She appears to be growing somewhat impatient. Perhaps you could tell her that the banquet is about to begin. I get a bit, little gooboo. Hey, little gooboo. You are mine! <laughs> Ishtola! I did the thing in the company of heroes. Ishtola is concerned for your well-being. You have the look of a man who has been to the seventh hell and back. That a guest should be expected to supply the victuals for a banquet held in his own honor. And this world the shadow of time looms over us all. I beggars believe. I can only applaud your stoicism. Had I been asked to endure such ignominy, I fear I should have accepted my lot with less grace. Uh, a feast in my own honor. Amazing. Blah, 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 blah. Hmm, yes, quite. Lady Ishtola, Sir Creed! Wah! How you doing, Gigi Ruju? A thousand pardons for this extreme discourtesy. I was wholly unaware of your true identity, sir. Had I known, I would never have been my man to subject you to such unspeakable ordeals. Uh, it wasn't that bad. Come now, he must have sensed something was amiss. It is weird that I have to go and gather a bunch of ingredients. The first time I saw my brother play through this quest, and I'm like, why Why do you have to go and 
get wine. What does this have to do with the story? You didn't seriously think I would send you running the length and breadth of Eosia for a banquet, did you? Spare him your mockery, Captain. Your intent was unclear to me until this moment. And unlike me, brother has no knowledge of your traditions. I hope you'd be so good as to enlighten him. Aye, aye, fair is fair. There's no sense hiding it any longer. We five were chosen by our brothers and sisters, and before the company of heroes disbanded, we each swore a solemn oath. That any who would follow in our footsteps must be weighed and measured, not by their reputation, but by their deeds. Each man would judge these would-be godslayers by his own criteria. If even one found him wanting, he would be rejected without a second thought. But if he proved himself worthy, we swore that we would do our utmost to support his cause. The world has ever been full of brave souls eager to give their lives for a righteous cause, but all too few capable of making a difference with their sacrifice. To send wave after wave of hapless adventures into the jaws of a foe against whom they have no hope of victory is worse than futile. Titan is not one to be challenged lightly, and we will not be complicit in the deaths of the unworthy. Which is why the five of you deign to test brother with such commendable thoroughness. Time well spent, I am sure. But tell us, Captain, what is the assessment of you and your fellows? He's a brave one, that much is certain. He willingly walked into the midst of danger, despite my repeated warnings that it could cost him his life. His skill is undeniable. He stalked his prey as relentlessly as any child of the sands, and struck with precision when an opportunity presented itself. Too many adventurers these days care only for fortune and glory. Brother, however, is a kind and generous soul. I am certain he has no shortage of loyal allies who will gladly fight at his side. Psh, shko, Willie Uplander is talentful plans maker, tricksy foe for a mighty rock man. I can only concur with my colleagues' assessments. We five of the Company of, Hero of Heroes hereby judge you a worthy challenger. Cast down the Lord of Crags, Brother Creed, and write a new chapter in the history of Eorzea. Hmm, yes. Yes, of course, I will do such a thing. With the formalities out of the way, let the festivities begin. Summon the dancers, pour the wine, eat, drink, and be merry, my friends. For today, we celebrate the birth of a new legend, Brother Creed, Titan's Bane. Brother Creed, Titan's Bane. Yay. Hey, I did a thing. Nice. <laughs> Woo! What say you, Yishtola? Greetings, brother. I thought I'd they seek you out and offer my gratitude for all that you have accomplished. Ah, oh, thanks. I wish to complete this, this quest. Bronze-skinned beauty. Congratulations, sweetling. Now relax and enjoy the show. It's only just begun. Exotic feast. Mmm, delicious. Wonderful. Mmm, yes. Food. Yay. Nom, 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 nom. It's not, a, it's not mac and cheese, but it'll do. Mmm, yes, fantastic. This thing actually triggers a divine revelation. In that brief, transcendent moment, you glimpse the true form of reality, comprehend its fleeting nature, and cry out to the heavens in celebration. What the actual? <laughs> yeah, sure. Fly away. When you face the Lord of Crags, think not of Limsa, Lominsa, Eorzea, or anything beyond his chamber. Think only of the men and women by your side. Fight for them, and they will fight for you. Remember that no great victory was ever achieved alone. Brave locks. Shh, shko. Goodly Uplander must be facing mighty rockmen with clever fighty think. Gobby Flock cannot be coming to rescue this time. You didn't really help me last time. 
Landonel, ah, brother, you brave fool. Promise me that when you meet Titan, you'll look him in the eye and tell him Landonel sends his regards. Oh, noon? You are a veteran of countless battles, brother. This is but one more. Trust in your experience and you will prevail. Praise, get you are blessed with a fortitude to rival the earth itself. Titan will struggle to break you, I think. Ishdola? You are kind to indulge them, brother. This banquet is as much for the company as it is for you, whatever they may claim. I do not deny that they mean well, but now is scarcely the time for celebration. Though they have all but pronounced you the victor, the battle with Titan has yet to begin. The hour has come for the good captain to make good on his promise. We must speak with him again. Hmm, yes, of course. We still have no idea how we're gonna get to the j to the big man himself, now do we? Water bottle. Hey, mountain speed and blood shore has increased. Woo! As you wish, it's good truly intends to tell you how you may face Titan this time. You must be eager to face Titan. As promised, we will show you the way. Travel to Bronze Lake in Upper Lanaska. There you will meet with Royal, another man who once served with the company. To ensure that this knowledge does not fall into the wrong hands, he will remain in hiding until you get you have given the correct signal. Give me your map. You must whistle loudly at the three locations I mark. Only then will he appear to meet you at this fourth location. I realize this may seem excessive now, but you will see that it is more than reasonable once you comprehend the risks inherent in our method. Okay, if you say so, guy. Wee, I already went to Bronze Lake, so I can just teleport there. Woo! Yo, speed! Whistle loudly at the designated locations. Okay. I'm a whistle here. Nice. I'm a whistle there. Done. Whistling. Fantastic. Riol. How are you doing, Riol? Greetings, mate. Might you be the one the captain said would come calling? Aye, I thought so. Pay attention now, because I ain't explaining myself twice. Only explain yourself once, Lord of Crags! Riel is waiting for you to give him your undivided attention. Years ago, when we was running up how to get to Titan, one of our scouts stumbled across this beastman Aetherite sea. An Aetherite? Eh, what's that look for? Not familiar with him. No, I am. He speaks of an unamplified Aetherite which has been claimed by a beast tribe. As you wonder, there is no fundamental difference between such Aetherites and those which you have used on countless occasions, brother. Ah, well, if it ain't the Charlayan lass, welcome back. Forgive me for interrupting. I plan to await your report, but I succumb to curiosity. The tunnels beneath Ogamoro form a bewildering labyrinth that no outsider has ever fully explored. How the Company of Heroes managed to navigate it is a mystery I have long pondered. Ah, give us a bit of credit, love. We weren't daft enough to try going in the front. The kobolds are always digging new tunnels and filling the old ones with traps. One wrong step and the next thing you know, you've got a hundred tons of rock on your noggin. Suicide to even try, see? Funny thing was, the kobolds didn't seem to have no trouble finding their way round. And it was that as got us thinking. I mean, Ugamoro mines are like a bleeding city, ain't they? And going around in a city that big would be a right pain in the arse if you didn't have an Aethernet, wouldn't it? So it stood to reason that the kobolds must have one, didn't it? Hmm, even if there were Aetherite shards in the depths of Ogamoro, you would have needed to attune yourselves to them before you could identify their signatures within the life stream. Ah, well, that's where you're wrong, love. We had the Charlayan bloke to help us, see. Delivered us right into Titan's bedchamber, he did. 
I don't rightly know how he did it, but I do remember him saying it weren't nothing any Charlene scholar worth her salt couldn't manage. Hmm. Did he now? Oomph. Locating a beacon in the absence of a known signature might be possible if the Aetherites, Aetherites in question happen to be... Ah, yes. In order to guide a travel to said beacon safely, a second party would be required to... Hmm... It is possible, in theory at least, yet I cannot be certain until I try. Plainly, all will depend upon whether or whether or not I am worth my salt. Oh, you are, alas, don't you worry about that. Have a bit of faith in yourself. Why don't we all go to Zelma's run and take a closer look at the Aetherite? Ain't far, though there's sure to be a few coal balls blocking the way, not ye can't handle mind. Hmm, yes, of course. We. Ow. <gasps> Excuse me. Mountain log. What's in Lanaska? Central Shroud. This in Lanaska. Central Shroud. Eastern. Ah, oh, Bloodshore. Dang it. <gasps> Dang it. North Shroud. Curthus, Curthus, Curthus. Infiltrators. Go, bird, go! Help me! You double my damage, bird. Hey, level up. Ooja. Come on, where are these infiltrators? There's an infiltrator. That's an executioner. <laughs> Got him. Now I just need a when I'm done here, I can teleport back to Bloodshore and kill some, uh, jellyfish. Mamuja Sophist. Oh, way. Nobody likes you. Cobalt Pitman. Chocolate. I have to clear this area out. Titan's Boon. Speed. Take him out, bird. Easy like the beastman ate the right. Attuning, interacting. I don't know, it seems like a security risk to just have this out here. So, this is the eighth right the Company of Heroes used to gain access to Titan Sanctuary. Hmm, it is as Papa Limo speculated. In its presence, say this eighth right signal will not be strong enough for our purpose. I may, however, be able to use my own energies to amplify it. Alas, the task will monopolize my attention for the duration. It seems you will have to proceed without me, brother. I must need to remain here and supplement this beacon's power, lest you be denied your only path of escape. Okay, that's fair enough. Fear not, I will summon the Maelstrom forces stationed nearby to protect us. With effort, it is possible that I may be able to stabilize the Aetherite signal and thereby join you, albeit belatedly. Until such time as I do, you will be on your own. Okay. Now, let us see if I am worth my salt. I think you're worth your salt, Yishtola. I have located another beacon, one far below the mountain. I can only speculate as to what you will find there, so stint not in your preparation. Got it. 
the navel now accessible. Woo! Under the weight! Alright, let's do this thing. Under the navel with a party of other players. The navel, let's go! Oh, I love being a healer. <laughs> Ah. All right, let's do this. Hello, everyone. Look, an overdraw, yes, yes, an invader from above. He uses our aetherites against us. Yes, defiled Titan's sacred sanctuary. Trespassed, violated, defiled. Overdwellers must leave! Overdwellers must fly! Brothers and sisters, fear him! Fear him not! His fate shall be desired by the Lord of Crags! Hear me, Overdweller! You and your treacherous brethren must be held to account for the breaking of the covenant! You shall be first to face judgment! Them Limsa Lominsta and her oathbreakers! Liars, betrayers, oathbreakers! Oh, great father, Lord of Crags! Titan, we summon you! Titan, we summon you! Probably the best music of any of the primals in base RR. Hey, Titan. How you doing? He has come. He has come. The Lord of Crags. Titan has come. Overdweller. Art thou deaf to their weeping? Yes, I am. Thy vile kind coveteth ever the blessing of the land and murdereth my children by the score, all in service to greed. Such sins are beyond pardon. Ah, but I am not the first to suffer thy defiance. Thou didst bring Ifrit low. Godless overdraw, thy myriad heresies shall not go unpunished. Upon thee shall I wreak a terrible vengeance. You shall not be suffered to live! Okay, let's do this thing! <laughs> Ow. I shall grind thee beneath my heel, mortal. Ow. Yeah. <laughs> Almost bad. <laughs> Okay, Titan's heart. Let's go. Oh my goodness, my health. Yeah. Kill the heart, kill the heart, kill the heart. Tremble before the might of the earth! I have Medica, fool! To the last I grapple with thee! Ah! Ah, Ah, regen! Ah, lucid! Ah! Death! Almost, almost got him, got him, and yeah! We did it! Woo! GG's, everyone! The Lord of Crags, Great Father Titan has fallen! No! I win! 
I'm victorious. Ooh, hey, eat your candy. Yo, I love caramel creams. Caramel creams are my favorite. I mean, an entire family sized bag of caramel creams within five minutes. Don't do that. <laughs> That's something I regret immensely. Uh, okay. Bam. Another candy down. Two more to go. We got the blue Jolly Rancher. We got the Flame Hot. We got the purple Gummy Worm. And we have the Caramel Cream. Next on the list, I believe, is a green Juicy Drop Pop. I think. I'm pretty sure that's what's up next. The crimes of the Overdrellas shall never be forgiven, never be forgotten, no, no, never. Yeah. Twas your kin who broke the covenant. We have acted only in defense of our lands. Cease your aggression, or never will there be peace. Until our dying breaths, we shall defy you, deny, decry, defy. Run away. Ah. Yo, how you doing, guy? Now these are the readings of one would expect of an icon. I've never seen. I have seen enough. We proceed as planned. Are you sure this is wise, my lord? Your curiosity is untested and unproven. We do not yet know its true capabilities. Then trust in mine, Ritazin, my. Curiosity, as you so eloquently put it, would have bested Titan in the blink of an eye. Why, if there be truth to the legends, legends, it could readily subjugate the whole of Eorzea given but a little while longer. Is that not so? It is. No greater single power has ever been conceived, much less realized. What will... What... Blair, what you say may well be true, but while such devices may win battles, I do not believe they will serve to change the course of this war. Oh, but they will! Have a little faith, my friend! I cannot endorse this course of action. Uh... It is what it is. Fool! And now he has a fourth... Fascinating. Carry on, Crystal Bearer, for though you have come, your work is far from done. Being a bard is not that hard. He is a poet without even knowing it. Woo! Oh, no. He knew Yishtola was there. And not remained to mark his passing. Well, the Ashians are nothing if not elusive. It is a little. It is of little wonder that they should cast advanced teleportation magics at will. Hmm. Water bottle. But that they would choose to consort with the Empire. What kind of goal could they possibly share? That will be revealed in Shadowbringers, don't you know? Or is it Stormblood? It's one of those. I feared I might arrive too late, but I see you have the matter well in hand. I have taken measures to ensure that we are not pursued, yet I cannot say how long they will hold. Take your leave while the kobolds are still in disarray. I will follow Adon. There is something I must investigate before I depart. Oh, like what? I'll teleport you to the Aetherite and Selma's Run, and we will rendezvous at Camp Bronze Lake. Agreed. Yeah, sure, lady. We Wee. Do 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 do. Yay! Yay! Commendations! Onward! Oh, oh, I know that one got angry with me. I don't got angry with me too. What did I do? I did nothing except slay your deity. Uh. Do, 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 
do 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 Yishtola. I'm relieved to see you well, but come, let us discuss our next step. What is the next? Mount speed in Upper Lunasca has increased. All good things. Yishtola is keen to discuss your next test. Oh, yeah. Hmm. The word will already have reached Maelstrom Command. Protocol requires that a representative of our order inform the High Commander of the mission's success. The honor is rightfully yours, brother. Once again, I must commend you on a job well done. We shall speak again soon. Bye, bye Yishola. Lanoska away. Wee. To the aft cast I go. Taking an awfully long time to load, though. That's that's a certainty. Ah, there we go. The fat cat. Ethernet aft cast. We. Speed. Rashash Ricky. Thank you for coming, brother. Word of your triumph reached me some while ago, but I am pleased to have it personally confirmed. First different, and now Titan. Truly, when I think of your achievements, I feel the loss of the Warriors of Light less keenly. And there can be no greater compliment than that. You and your order are heroes. The people of Rimsa Lomans are forever in your debt. I shall relay the details of your report to the Admiral forthwith. Please send my regards to the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Yay! Woo! Fantastic. Huh? What is this? Brother, this is Minvilia. Yishtola has informed me of your success. You have won a great victory for the people of Eorzea, one that shall not be forgotten. And what is more, both you and Yishtola emerged from Orgamora unscathed. Why, Tataru and the others seemed as glad as that as they did of Titan's fall. You can look forward to a hero's welcome. We'll be waiting your return at the Waking Sands. There is much to discuss. Godspeed! Okay. Oh, I got a thing. Extract, yes. Fantastic. Oh, how's my hunting log doing? Central Shroud, Central Shroud. That's right, Lanaska. Had to go back to Bloodjore to go hunt some jellyfish. I will do that. This is this is just the level 30 hunting log. I need to access the level 40 hunting log. Speed. And I need to find this Sorrel Haven wherever that is someone's fishing. Bloodshore Bell. Aha. Go, bird, go! Good job, bird! Oh, there's more jellyfish, though. You must find them. Ah, there's one. Ah! You missed. Jellyfish umbrella. Mmm, tasty. How you doing, warrior teacher man? Furious George. Ah! Uh, you can call me Curious George. Well, you can call me whatever you damn please if you don't value your neck. I hail from the far north, beyond the highlands of Gerthus, where the mountains stand tall and the flames burn hotter than the pits of hell. 
My reasons for coming to this land are twofold. One, to pay a debt to an old comrade from the days before the Calamity by protecting the villages here. Two, to spread the battle techniques perfected by my ancestors, that our proud line of warriors does not end with me. Goodbye, Curious George. Woo! Oh, I can't jump over the fire. Nice to know, game. Ah, more jellyfish. Hi, jellyfish. Last one, and then I can move on to a Sorrel Haven, wherever that is. Okay. Oh, Lanos not Lanoska, the Black Shroud. Where is the Sorrel Haven? This is Sorrel Haven. Okay, well, to Bent Branch Meadows, I go. Mm. Probably could have just teleported, but meh. What? I don't have to jump those. Those are open gates. Speed. Arbor buzzards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all right now. Where would this stuff be? Spooky ghosts. Where would I find? Well, there are the lindworms. Go, oh, bird, go. Eh. Yeah, bird took care of that one. Finish this one, bird. Because I have to fight four of these things? After Shanks. Worms. Any other lindworms in this area? Uh, not over here. Lindworm. Last one. Aha! Okay. Let's see. Where are these spooky spirits? Are the spooky spirits in here? They are revenants! Aha! Goodbye, spooky spirit. Need to kill four spooky spirits. Eh. A veritable barrage of rocks. Amber scale rock. I wonder what this is important to for. Okay. Hunting log. Da 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 da. Ornery Kirkus, North Shroud, Kirkus, Kirkus. Well, I need to go kill some dryads, and that is in. It's over here. So fall guard float. I'm even facing the direction I need to go. How convenient. A dryad. Hello, friend. Hi, friend. Done. On to the next one. Need to kill four of these things. 
smells like tree spirit. Angered by the need to slaying its brethren, the great oak has lifted his roots from the twelve's wood floor and has set up to exact revenge on anything without roots. Of course. Oh, that's boss battle music. Let's go. You cannot defeat me. I am a healer. I have infinite health, fool. Ow. Da 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 da. And dodge that. Reapply my regen. The fight is easy. It's easy probably because I don't take damage, but that's besides the point. Having a healer has its perks, don't you know? Dodge that. Yeah, being a healer, being a healer makes things very easy. Just just do the healer things, five head. What is the enemy gonna do? Take away your heals. They don't have grievous rune wounds in this game. Because I don't think they do. Oh my goodness, that'll be something. I'm trying to heal my tank and the boss just applies heal cut to them. Ugh. Lucid. Dodge that. Put the regen on bird. Go back to attacking you, arrow. Da -da -da. No, I just kind of wanted to kill your your brethren. Yeah, these dryads right here. But nah, you had to come in and mess everything up. Eh. Ah, I am victorious though. And now I can kill your brethren in peace. Oh, 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 thanks, Bird, for doing the stun. Okay, yeah, that battle only took two minutes as well. Ah. Uh... I can't wait to unlock Astro. <laughs> oh, I want to unlock Astro so much. Uh, just because I prefer it. Da, 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 da. Kurthus, Kurthus, Kurthus. Kurthus. Ishgard! Ishgard! <laughs> I want to unlock Ishgard so bad, but it's going to take forever. <laughs> Also, we can now finally buy housing in the Imperium. Fantastic. Oh, I'm slow here. Joy. Miracles. There's a character. It's a black sheep. Baba black sheep. Have you any wool? You seem to be stunned. Poor black sheep. Also, I like how the battle music for Kurthus is different from everywhere else. Get these, the, the they get the organ and everything. Why is it different in Kurthus? Is there a reason? Like everywhere else in ARR it just uses the same music, but this one specifically gets the gets the gets different music. I don't know, seems inconsist like an inconsistency to me. Got the Caracals. Okay. Downy Avis, Providence Point. Providence Point is up here. House for Tom Guard. 
Oh, oh, I was for Tom. Jump, jump. Da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. Dragon head. Let's see, it is snowing. Yay! Like snow ogres, how you doing? Red horn ogres. I am searching for some downy avis. Yeah, I like these. These are actually exactly what I'm looking for. Did you look at that? Electric villitation. Got it, so an AoE to dodge. Have to kill four of these as well. Good job, bird, for stunning them. Oh-ho! You gotta kill this dude real quick. And... Fantastic. Okay. I'm gonna run over here. And I... Will be right back. Here, have some music. I've done the thing that I needed to do. Fantastic. Okay. Now we need to kill one more Downy Avis. Aha. Eh. How did I forget that they immediately start out with the AoE that I have to dodge? Done. Now we have to just kill the dragonflies. The dragonflies are all the way over here. And... And this way. Eugenia. Level 41 house for Tom Guard. Ooh, a fate just spawned. That big bird, because that's a big bird boss. Never actually seen a, 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 a fate boss spawn in before. That's cool. And he disappeared. Okay, game. Oh, wah. Not you. You're not the big... Eh. He was just a distraction. <laughs> Or maybe the fate ended and he decided to go away. Hmm, that could have happened. Water bottle. Damn chinchillas. Go away. Stop by. Get the chocobo keep. How you doing, good sir? Yes, thank you very much. Goodbye. Come on, bird. We got places to be. Hmm. 
Hmm. Ah, yes, the dragonflies. Finally. Dragonfly, prepare to meet your dragon father. Pop, 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 bam. Here's the four I need. Ah! You get for something for completing all of the hunting logs, right? I'm pretty sure you do. Go, bird, go! On the plus side, it appears these guys don't have any AoE mechanics I need to dodge. Makes my life easier. Done. Woo! Wrong one, H. Let's see, a golden fleece, a grenade, hippo surf. Lammergeier, Dead Man's Moan, Red Cord of Hop, Blockbuster, Let's look. K Long, Snow Wolf, Swift Cohort X, Sea Wasp, Sylph Bonnet, and a Remen, and a second Cohort Vanguard. Well, I'm already here, so I might as well take down the Wolves and the Hippo Surfs, seeing that I'm already in here. Right? Banalan, Autolanoska, Kurthis, Western, Western, East, South, Kurthis, or not, Western, East, Northern, yeah, East. Oh, gotta take the bridge. Okay. Hey, it's a bard. Woo! Yeah, hippo surf. I believe this is where you get hippogriff skin. No, you get hippogriff skin. By like killing the Hippogriffs in Mordona, that's where you get Hippogriff skin. But you get Hippogriff Sinu from these buggers. Oh, he was invulnerable. Okay, this area is done. Now to just move on to Boulder Downs. The surf. Chinchillas. Ah, oh, hey, it's actually fair skies for once. Yo, that never happens here. It's always snowing or foggy or blizzarding or just clouds. Hey, a bird. It, it's never just daylight here. No. Oh, uh, yeah, by the way, there's a fate that spawns here that gets you a very fat puck hatchling. If you can beat it, it is a boss, like an actual boss fate. You cannot do it by yourself. You need a healer, you need a tank. You need DPS. Boulder Downs. Blasts. Biased? Biased. Biased? I don't know. It's pronounced one of those. I actually get to walk around on one of these weird crystal structures. I should see all over this one. This one was red. There's weird Allegan technology in the center of it. I 
remember running up and down this place, killing those mud puppies. I don't think they're mud puppies. I think they're called something else. No, mud puppies. Yeah, I'd run, I'd run up and down this river, killing mud puppies to get premium mud puppy meat. Or a high quality mud puppy meat for, uh... To craft, uh, high quality gathering food. For, uh, when I was on my culinarian, my goodness, I hated every second of it because it has such a low drop rate. Oh my goodness, good sir, you have a lot of health. Nerve sever, not today, good sir. Dead. I need to kill four of these. Ugh. Uh, well, one down, three to go, I guess. There's the gold, there's, um, the gold place. I forget the exact name of it, but I don't like that dungeon. That dungeon, you, you wipe with people who are like level 70. You think I'm joking? No. I've had dancers and gun breakers and sages and all other types of stuff go we 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 ran them up we we go under the duty finder all right get that get that out of there we do we do this we do the the leveling roulette we go in here and we just die <laughs> we wipe like three times on the first boss Oh my goodness, that dungeon is awful. Okay, last wolf. Ah. Oh. There's no wolf. Woo! What? I'm going to return to New Gridania all quick like. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go check. Check the markets. Because there is some stuff I kind of want to buy. What type of stuff? Oh, you're about to find out. Do with battlecraft supplies. Arms, one to nine. With a short sword, nah, I want a bronze war axe, yes. A bone hora. And a maple short bow. Yeah. As for magic, magic arms, the nine. I would like a bone brand and a leather grimoire. Yes, thank you very much, good sir. And for the independent tailor, I'd like to buy some magic gear. One to nine, please. A hempen hat. Hempen dogmatica. Hempen cowl, no. Hempen half robe. 
leather and light mitts, hemp and tights, and some leather sandals. As for the war gear, I want me Hempen Tabard, Leather Cacros, Hempen Sorrel, yes. Why did I get all this? Well, because I have this. A joint. Ah. Ah. List. This. Surge. Update that. Broader. M. J. No, Arcanist. And upgrade them. Yes, they're and I can sell a bunch of stuff. Like this. All of this. Hi, Ether. Restore seven. Oh, boy. Oh, buddy. <laughs> I'm going to keep that. <laughs> Armory chest. Sort. Don't need the weathered stuff anymore. Ah, uh, hang on. There appears to be a problem. I didn't update it. That was the problem. Sort. Don't need this weathered axe. Not need these weathered hora, this weathered bow, this weathered scepter, or this weathered grimoire. Hmm. Don't need this, seeing that no one's wearing it. Lots of greens that I'm not using. That's Gladiator Paladin. Gladiator Thaumaturge Paladin Black Mage. Gladiator Paladin. Gladiator Paladin. Gladiator Paladin. Gladiator Paladin. Waning Sun Pelta. Old Hoplin. Well, the Pelta's better. This is a Gladiator Paladin. Mm. Sort. What? 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 Are already like the way they are. Fantastic. Actually, let's look at this more specific. Like level one, level five. People are wearing that. Five. Wearing that. Amateurs Domatica. All classes magical people are eventually gonna wear that. Amateurs, I have two of them though. One, one. Brand new robe, acolyte's robe. Striker's tabard, plundered curus, cotton tabard, cotton actin, skin jacket, 
Iron Curious, Doctor's Harness, Curate of the Law, that, that, that. Aesthetics Half Robe, Brigand's Acton, Eternal Shade, Velveteen Shirt, Heavy Armor, Goatskin Jacket, Still Curious, Velveteen Blood, Battle Mage's Robe. Da, 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 da. I'm thinking that I should probably level up all my other classes so I can start emptying out all of the junk in my armory chest. My goodness. This is getting stupid. Well, I got two of the same boots. I won't do. Okay. Let's can cackrows, ethereal ghost can cackrows, but there's no reason to have these if there's just a better version. Here are ironclad boots, doctorate solarettes, let's go greaves. Greaves, steel scale greaves. Ah, there's a difference. You know which. Get this ring out of here, though. I want the silver. Hey. And... Want the silver. Weather the silver. Ninja. Silver. Thank you very much, game. Actually, jeweler, independent jeweler, what do you have for me? Battlecraft accessories. Sphene, sunstone, fluorite. Yeah, I might as well get that. Maletchite, lapis lazuli, copper gorget. Horn necklace, I don't need two horn necklaces. Horn ring, coral ring, bone ring, silver ring, brass ring, copper ring, silver wristlets, brass wristlets, copper wristlets, skin wristbands, horn necklace, hey, vitality intelligence determination, vitality mind spell speed. two horn necklaces. I only need one. Don't need two silvers. Only need one. Don't need two ethereal brass. Only need one. Not need two ethereal coralay. I only need one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that should do it. And I think I'm going to level up. Hmm. Let's see. HUD layout. Up bar. Six. Six. Two by six, yes. Make it teeny tiny. Save. Where is it? There it is. 
we're gonna put that right here. Dave. Right? I want, that's where we're gonna put all of our classes. Put ninja, goon, white mage, paladin, well, there's a tank so it can be over there. That's ranged. Rotter. Anis is also ranged. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, Thaumaturge. One, two, oh, there's nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Fantastic. Tanks can be up here. The uh, ranged can be down here. Melees can be right there. Fantastic. Layout. Six. We're gonna make the transparency. Where's the transparency? No. Ah. ah, there it is. Gonna make it like that. There we go. Not complete. It's not. Uh, we we can see what it is, but it doesn't really get in the. You know what? I'd lay out six. Yeah, that's better. Okay. You know, I think I'm going to... I'll have the physical damage together. The magic can be down here. This is magic. This is physical. So I think I'm going to get all of these up to, like, level 30. And that's going to take me a while. I'm going to get on that right now so I can actually, like, clear out my, uh... My board, and we'll do the story quests at a, and we'll do the class stories uh, at a later time. So, with that out of the way, I think now would be a good time to end the stream. Woo, would you look at that, a flawless transition. To the intermission away, the music away. Okay, and yep, that marks the end of this stream. I know. I mean, we did what we did. What we... We did what we wanted to do. We fought Titan. We killed Titan. We are the... We are Titan's bane. Woo! So, yes. This is the end of the stream. If you like the stream, follow. Check out my panels. All that fun stuff. And until next time... Goodbye!